Right then, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The old Jowett. There she is, look. Uh, I think she might just be running out of petrol. There you go. She starts on the bottom there. It sounded lovely there for a minute or two. And it may have just run out of fuel. Yeah, I think so. So, um, it is a very, very nicely presented little motor. It really is, as I say. She was just messing about with us a little bit there, so let's assume it may be run out. But condition speaks for itself. It's a lovely little thing. Isolate the battery, please, Charlie, while we're on. I don't know, but on that poster there, it tells you what's what. Dicky seat in the back, look. Shove the mother-in-law in there. Gonna watch that there look it's very very close to there I could be too close I'm not gonna leave that up there that um, that rack there wants uh, wants lowering down if you're gonna have the dicky up I think we'll lower that rack in a minute Charlie so uh, we'll lower the, the rack so that somebody doesn't flop it down and catch it so as I say car speaks for itself to start from cold connect the battery isolator in the box Turn the fuel tap on in the passenger footwell, prime the carb, give a full choke, turn the engine over to get petrol in, then switch on the ignition. When started, let warm up for a few minutes. When stopped, isolate the petrol tap. Dashboard's lovely look. We'll have a look around the other side and see what it is showing mileage-wise. Car, as I say, it speaks for itself. It's lovely. Obviously, originated from uh, just across the way down here, Bradford there. 4,000 or 43,551 on the clock. Look, that's what it's showing. Obviously, we take no notice. Who knows? Could be right, could be wrong. Pfft, who knows? Come and have a look. You'll see for yourself. It's a lovely little thing. Thank you.